Okay, we are back. You are listening to Mind Body Radio. This is the Daily Show. I'm your host, Chris Sawyer. Uh, today, joined by Nicole Webster. And uh, no, Nicole is a, a beauty and a self care coach, as well as a professional makeup artist. Uh, Nicole, thanks for joining us today. How are you? Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yes, and uh, thank you for accepting our invitation onto the program. And uh, before we do, uh, we do get into it. Let's uh, mention that website of yours for our listeners. That is just uh, NicoleWebster.ca. Uh, N-I-C-O-L-E-W-E-B-S-T-E-R.ca. And uh, Nicole, please kick it off for us and tell us what you do exactly. Well, as you mentioned, um, my name is Nicole Webster. I am a beauty and self care coach as well as a professional uh, makeup artist for the past 11 years now. Um, I'm also the founder of the Divine Beauty Movement, and I help women just develop a glowing self-image that they can be proud of using intentional self-care tools for an inner and outer beauty uh, transformation. Um, I just really love helping women sort of reconnect with themselves so that they can honor their truth, beauty, and desires, and just live th- their best life, right? Operating from a place of worth. And now, what is your background? How did you get into this kind of work? Well, <laughs> um, growing up, uh, just to give you a little bit of a backstory, um, growing up, I had a very abusive and toxic childhood, and early adulthood, too. Um, I dealt with sexual abuse, um, physical and verbal abuse. And over the years, I developed very low self-esteem. You know, um, I hated the way I looked, my body, and I was also very shy and sort of a loner in school. I had more of a challenge academically, which I got bullied for a lot. And um, all of that just sort of took a toll on me. And one day, I discovered makeup. <laughs> makeup was like a whole new world for me. I mean, it was pretty and glittery and full of colors. And it just became this thing that temporarily um, provided an escape from my reality, you know? It's, um, yeah. it's very true that when you look good, you feel good. And I wanted to feel even better. That's when I knew that I had to start working on myself from the inside. Um, I actually started to think to myself that, well, if I'm feeling this way, then surely I can't be the only one that feels this way. And that just gave me this strong desire to want to help other girls like me look good and feel good too. And that's when I decided to follow my passion. I actually went to school and got certified as a professional makeup artist at the Chelsea Institute of Aesthetics, and I also started studying the world of self-care so I could start healing from the inside. You know, I um, I put into practice, like, various self-care techniques I've learned over the years, so meditation, um, yoga, writing. I'm very poetic. I love poetry, so I do a lot of writing like that. And I attended several personal development classes as well and also got um, professional help myself from coaching. And eventually I invested in becoming an official coach myself through training with the lovely um, Dr. Tracy Timberlake. So that being mm-hmm. said, with you know everything I've learned throughout my 11 years in the industry, um, my own personal life experience and my continued self-care journey, I've become, you know, very passionate about just helping women master their relationship with self and get genuine support from a sisterhood. You know, I like to invite women to come and sort of experience something I call a core shift. And what that means is, well, what core means to me is cultivating self-love and self-care, owning your worth. Um, rediscovering your confidence and embracing your beauty and your body. Now, yeah. take me uh, take me through the approach. Say I am a, a brand new client of yours. We're working together for the first time. Uh, where where do you mm-hmm. start? How, uh, how how do you begin this process? Well, um, I encourage my potential clients to come to me as they are with an open mind. 
uh, knowing this is a safe place where they can share their truth with no judgment. And just expect realness and transparency from me. Um, I sort of want you to look at it like you're meeting with your close friend. I want to get to know you, see how, you know, I may best serve you and address your particular needs. And um, depending on what you do need, I kind of block, I kind of go based off of that on how I want to move into, um, lack of a better word, treating you. Okay. Right. Now, uh, what would you say, in your eyes, what's the most challenging aspect of your job? And on the flip side of that coin, what's the most rewarding for you? The most challenging? Um, the most challenging for me uh, would be helping um, women understand what real self-care is. Because self-care is often confused with um, self-indulgence. And it's mostly looked at like, um, you know, just like spa days and walks in the park, which are great tools I definitely recommend. However, self-care, it's more of an um, intentional practice for your overall well-being, you know, for your happiness and your self-image for the long run. And with self-indulgence, which I find most people come to me with, and that's something that we need help to get out of, um, self-indulgence, however, it can lack boundaries, right? It's sort of, you know, in the moment, whatever makes me feel good right now type of thing, which can be very dangerous, um, if, especially if you're indulging in practices that can potentially harm you or even become addictions, right? And let me just tell you, really, sometimes self-care is hard. You know, I, I, I love, you know, like the spa days and stuff, but... Um, there's moments where it really opens up doors that you may not even realize that need to be open, you know? It makes you confront yourself and dig deep to find the root cause of your lack of self-love, and it just really brings you through it to set you free, right? So it's very rewarding to see women come to realization that, oh, I didn't know I was harming myself. I didn't know that I was self-sabotaging myself hmm. and just want to change that to become better. Right? Absolutely. Now, uh, net last question for you here, Nicole, and that is about the future <laughs> and what your goals are. Uh, what's what's on your plate moving forward? Uh, well, moving forward, I want to continue to bring women together through my Divine um, Beauty Sister Circle. Um, just to really connect, share their stories, and support one another. I hope with, um, you know, everything that has been taught and learned in my programs and the bonds that have been created in this sisterhood would really inspire women to pay it forward and just be an example of true self-love to women around them um, and that they'll also help to grow our sisterhood by continuing to participate um, and inviting and sharing the Divine Beauty Movement. All right, and uh, one last time, how about some contact information, easiest way, uh, social media, website, uh, for our listeners to, to reach out and get involved? Well, sure, my website is NicoleWebster.ca. You can also contact me directly at info at NicoleWebster.ca. Also, I'm always sharing inspiring and informa informative content um, on my Instagram page, which is at NW Coach, and Facebook at Hello Nicole Webster. All right, wonderful. Nicole, thank you one last time for joining us today. It was great to hear from you. Thank you. All right, then a big thank you to our audience as well. This is Mind Body Radio, and uh, we'll be taking a short break. More interviews next. <laughs> 